Pardon the dirty windshield, but that is an adventure truck. Fuel cell, mud jack, uh, stuck skids, which are those those board things that go under the tire. A full size spare. On the front, you can't see from here, but he's got a snorkel. Um, and then probably some other goodies that we can't even see. This truck is fucking badass. Don't tell anybody that I said a Toyota was badass. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Day two. Truck is all clean. Clean the floor, vacuumed out. Truck's looking all good, smelling all good. Got my tools in the back. Got the big three million candle watt power. Light. And then in the back, got our firewood. Luckily I live in New Hampshire, so went to my mother's and stole some firewood. And uh, fuel is full. So ready to fill the rest of this up with the camping equipment and get on our way. I was noticing traffic earlier today, and traffic is already backing up, headed north. It's almost noon time, so we want to get up, get on the road, and like I said, hopefully, crossing our fingers, we get a spot. There's going to be a lot of people that want to camp tonight. It's a beautiful weekend, one of the last ones of the year, so cross our fingers. See you in a few. What's up everybody? Back from a long night of camping up in the White Mountains. We went up and stayed at Blackberry Crossing on the Kankamagas Highway. And uh, I've never stayed in that campground before and it was very nice. Um, coincidentally, it, was, it said it was full. Like I was worried about, every campground on the Kankamagas said full. Um, it just so happens that 20 years ago, my grandparents... Uh, used to go take their camper, their coach, and go up on the kank for months at a time and would drive up and down the kank staying at each uh, campground. And their favorite was Blackberry Crossing. And their site was number four. So after they passed away, uh, my grandfather passed, and then a year later my grandmother passed. Um, so my father and my aunt took their ashes and spread them at site number four on Blackberry Crossing. So I'm not one to uh, chase after emotions, so I had never really visited that spot before. Um, so if anybody knows the White Mountains, you know the Kank. If you start in Lincoln, exit 32 off 93, start on the uh, west side of the Kank Magus and head east, uh, you start with Hancock Campground and head up through the White Mountains, and from there you have uh, all the other ones. Uh, Jigger Johnson, Something Ledge, Blackberry Crossing, and then there's a couple more. I can't remember the names of them. The Cover Bridge Campground is up there. Um, but so we we came through, and as we were coming through, every campground we came to on the Kank was full. Full signs out front, full, 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 because it's first come, first serve. So it's what I was worried about. We were nervous. And uh, the last one on the kank, pretty much, is uh, Blackberry Crossing. So, cross my fingers, Blackberry Crossing, said full. It's like, damn, I'm going to pull in anyway. So I pulled in, and the, uh, the manager, the caretaker, was there, and I said, hey, it says you're full, is that true? And she looked at me and said, nope. Got a site right here if you want it. And it was... a it was fine. It was in the middle of everything, and there was people. That, of course, it was full, and there were people there. But it's family camping. It's not like I was backpacking up into the country and into the back country and uh, 
you know, expecting to be by myself and have some solitude for a night. I knew what I was getting into, uh, family camping and knew there would be other families, kids, dogs, noise, but I just wanted to get out. So obviously I took the spot and I just stopped and thought for a minute, you know, what made me every, every campground said that it was full, you know, what made me pull into Blackberry Crossing and ask if it was full. It said it was full, and there happened to be one great site left. So maybe it happened to be there. Maybe my grandparents helping me out. But um, we ended up having a great night, and I did not film more than that clip you saw. Um, I was just in the moment. I was. I get kind of intense when I can't. You know, I, I like to get everything. The everything's got to be straight. The tent's got to be set up. The the air mattresses have to be the way they got to be, you know, the food's got to be, the fire's got to be, the wood's got to be, so, uh, after I get that out of me, then I like to relax, and, uh, I was enjoying my son not being on electronics or playing video games and, and playing in the woods and getting dirty and, and enjoying the, the outdoors and, and nature and my family, so I didn't film, and, uh, I hope you guys understand why, and, I hope that you have times that you don't even care about capturing because you're so lost in the moment. Um, obviously, we captured some of it, and <clears throat> that's enough. That's good for me. And we stopped over at site number four and said hello to my grandparents. And uh, it turned out to be a pretty good trip. My dog's first trip, and he did great in the tent. My girl's second trip, she did great in the tent. <laughs> And uh, it was a good night. So tomorrow we're back at it. More adventures. I'm hooking up with my brother again. Yeah, I did a video a while ago with my brother speed flying and it ended up having, it did too well and uh, the local authorities got notified and uh, we didn't want to get the site shut down. So I made that video private, although it was doing better than any video I've ever posted. But that's for my brother. Didn't want to get his spot shut down. But we're going to get back at it, get out there, see if we can't find some more spots to poach for you that he doesn't care about getting shut down and get some cool footage for you. Also some mountain biking. Um, I'm going kayaking. Uh, the truck needs some work. We're going to load the truck up and show you how to load up the kayaks on a, on a regular everyday truck. So new content to come, great content to come. Uh, I don't know. The woods just filled me up. The mountains just filled me up with this motivation and that's usually what I go there for so I got it and uh, we'll be back and see you tomorrow like subscribe and share this with a friend see you